Afloat with Henry Morgan. Captain Morgan, together with Colonel Atterbury and Sir Thomas Motford, returns to the Flying Gull, thinking that perhaps the woman who was masquerading as Antoinette de Lacy might have gone there to ask Geoffrey Hunter to give her his protection. Morgan is quite ignorant of the fact that Dolores has conspired with Dietz so that Kitty has betrayed Geoffrey Hunter to the authorities. Aboard the Flying Gull, Morgan finds that both the Aztec necklet and Hunter are missing, and he naturally concludes that Hunter and the woman have run away together. Then he learns that Kitty was seen wearing the necklet, and so he takes the other two men with him to the Dolphin Tavern. Meanwhile, Dietz has kidnapped Kitty, and Dolores has gone with her into hiding. From the window of the stone hut, the women see Geoffrey being taken to work in the swamp. While this has been happening, Morgan has learned that Kitty has disappeared. The others believe that Geoffrey, Dolores and Kitty have gone off together. But Morgan feels that although this appears to be so, it doesn't seem to make sense. With Morgan, the facts are quite obvious. The Aztec necklace was taken from your ship, and this woman, who I believe to be Antoinette de Lacy, has gone. Kitty was seen wearing the necklace, and now she's disappeared. What other conclusions can we come to? They must have all gone away together. They must have, yes. But it still doesn't make sense. Geoffrey Hunter was in love with that woman who was living at your place, Sir Thomas. And I knew that she wanted the necklace, because she tried to steal it once before. Why should Hunter take it and give it to Kitty? Might I suggest that it was given to Kitty to try and throw you off the scent? Hunter possibly gave it to her and and then took it away later on. And where has Kitty got to? They might have killed her. It's a possibility, yes. Do they think they can get away with a thing like this? That woman must know that the whole island will be aroused against her. And by heavens, my men will find Hunter and they'll bring him back to me alive. Then I'll deal with the treacherous scoundrel. I gave him my trust, my friendship. And because a woman comes by and because her arms are soft, he forgets all that I've done for him. Well, I'll remind him when I see him. There's something that we've all overlooked. In the excitement of the chase, we've all forgotten the real Antoinette de Lacy, the one that I said goodbye to in England. What has happened to her? There's only one place that she could be, in the hands of the Spanish. Then heaven help her. If only we discovered this imposter when she arrived. I might have been able to help Mr. Thomas. I might have been able to find out where the girl was and so rescue her in time. But now... By now, she would have been sold into slavery, and that makes me all the more keen to find this woman who impersonated her. I'll not let the militia rest a moment until she is found. Well, I'm going to leave the search in your hands, Sir Thomas. And when you find them, I expect you to hold Hunter until I return. Where are you going, Captain Morgan? Sir Thomas knows I have little project in view. And after this, I feel I want to get out and do some fighting. Get away from Port Royal and the treachery of the man I trusted. I'll be sailing with my fleet almost immediately, Sir Thomas. I'll fight them. I'll boil the fat Spanish merchantmen alive to make them tell me the hiding place of the treasure. I'll slip their stomachs and hang and quarter them. But your ships are not fully provisioned. They'll have two days to finish the job. Then we sail provisioned or not provisioned. Yes, shut the door. I was wanting to talk to you, Diaz. Yes, Captain. Reluctantly, I have to give you back your position aboard the Flying Gull. You're the best navigator I've got. You're the only other man aboard the ship who knows the way I like things run. I'm doing it with reluctance because I have no other choice. You understand that, Diaz? Yes, Captain Morgan. Where were you last night, Diaz? I was out with some friends. Were you at the Dolphin Tavern? No, I did not go there last night. I don't suppose there's anything I can tell you which you don't know already. If you'll forgive me for saying this, Captain, but you remember I told you that you placed too much trust in a strange man of whom you knew nothing. Keep about. quiet, you dog. I'll not have that man mentioned aboard the ship. I'll deal with him when the time comes. Yes. He'll get what he deserves when we return to Port Royal. When we return? Eh, we are sailing so soon. In two days' time. 
Whether the fleet is ready or not, we sail. In two days' time. Yes. Can it be that my orders do not please you? Ah, uh, course not, Captain. I, might I ask what your plans are? No, you might not. Never again will I trust my plans to anyone. You'll receive your orders when we're out at sea. That is all. You can go. But remember, you're being restored to your position aboard this ship only because there's no one else suitable to take your place. I don't trust you. I know what a treacherous swine you are. Now get out and about your business. Make sure that the fleet is ready to put to sea in two days' time. Take your place beside this nigger and keep on digging this drain. You got your pick and your shovel? And remember, if I catch you loafing and not working as fast and as hard as I think you should, I'll flog you both to death. Men's lives are cheap here. There are plenty to take your place when you go. And go you will before long. I'll be watching you. You mean less to me than the reptiles that crawl through the jungle. I have supreme power of life and death over you here. Now get to work. And don't forget I'll be watching you. You'd better do as he says, Nasser. The swine, I'd like to clout him right on the point of a jaw. You do that, and you not live as long as anyone else. You just do as he says. Maybe you live as long as I have. You have been here long? Longer than anyone else. You take up your shovel and start working with me. We can talk as we dig. We have to finish this drain by tonight, else we all get flopping. For how long have you been trying to drain these swamps? I don't know. I've only been here a month. A month? I thought you said you'd been here the longest. So I have. If a man lives here in the swamps for a week, they think he lives a mighty long time. Doesn't anyone try to get away? Get away? <laughs> when they have you chained up all night? Brother... He was asking a mighty impossible thing. You better make up your mind that you is here to stay till the very end. Uh, it won't be very long. They work us so hard during the day that men is too tired to get up at night and think about running away. You just go back to your hut and they chain you up and you're mighty glad to lie on the floor and sleep. And uh, they don't let you sleep long. They get you up before the sun comes up. You stay out until the sky is quite dark. Sometimes the guards get very bored, so they like to play with their whips. I've seen them cut men to pieces and throw their bodies to the alligators. Alligators here? Sure. The swamp's full of alligators. During the day, you... Uh, he men scream, and you know an alligator sneaked up behind him. And then the swamp waters are stained red. But surely you can see the alligator coming? They sometimes don't get a chance. The gators come up these drains here. Water's deep. There's just a faint ripple. Their snouts out of the water. Before a man knows it, the gators have got him. I've seen them snap a man clean in half. Then there's the fever. There are insects and flies round. They bite, and in a few hours' time, a man is a raven mad. Before you know what has happened, he's a thrown to rock in the jungle. He's no good, so they throw him out and let him die. No wonder that no one lives more than a week. Quickly, go for your life up the bank. Is the gator coming now? Ask no questions going up. That's right. Come out. Come out. Heavens, he's fallen apart, the alligator. Has the chance of saving himself. A moment. There's an iron staff. It just might do the trick. Uh, here it comes, jaws wide open. Now I've got the spike right down its throat. Now's the chance if I miss it. It'll be too bad for us both. Come on, quickly. Let me help you out. Come on. I thought I, I was no longer going to be the oldest inhabitant here. I sure thought my days were Come finished. Come on, up the bank now. I think the alligator's finished. 
That was a mighty brave thing you did for a Negro. I was going to stay there and watch the other going to take you. He's dead now. Nobody else would have done that for me. The gate is dead. We'd best go down and get that bar from out of his throat. Otherwise, overseer make trouble for you. <laughs> You're my friend. My name is Hero. You saved my life. I, I'll not forget that. Someday, maybe, I, I might save yours. All over and done with now. My name's Jeffrey. We'd better get back to work before we strike more trouble. <laughs> Dolores, I had to come and see you tonight. I have news. What has happened in Port Royal? Are they searching for me? Yes, everybody is out looking for you. Is there any chance of their looking for me here? No, no. No one would think of looking for you near these swamps. This old deserted hut is forgotten. They, they never think a woman would come to the swamps where there's death. Eh? No, no, I they never find you. But Captain Morgan is sailing with his fleet in two days' time. What am I going to do? I can't sail with him. When does the ship come to take us? Not yet. Not until after Captain Morgan sails. You will have to desert. That is all you can do. Master Jeffrey, you still awake? Yes, hero, I'm still awake. All other men are asleep. We can talk now. I want to tell you something. What is it, Hero? I've been waiting to tell you this ever since you rescued me. But I was frightened someone might overhear us. I must tell you now because it's late and, and everyone is asleep. Well, what is it? I was going to escape and I was taken you with me. <laughs> Hope surges again within Jeffrey Hunter. What plans can Hero have for escape? You'll hear of them in the next exciting episode of Afloat with Henry Morgan. Mm -hmm.